Hello, welcome back for Nonfiction November. Today, I give you a book talk over the memoir, How We Fight for Our Lives by Saeed Jones, which is neither a how-to book nor about any form of martial arts or boxing, and thus my only criticism of the book is the title. I wish there would have been a different title for the book. I give this memoir five out of five stars and highly recommend it with the disclaimer that I could be biased subconsciously in my mind because I know Saeed. We went to the same high school and even though he's younger than me, we were both on the speech and debate team. So I met him while I was in college as an alumni volunteer helping out my high school team. I have some scrapbook photos of Saeed at tournaments. He always did an amazing job, won lots of trophies, and speech and debate was a huge part of both of our lives. When Saeed was in college, he volunteered and did workshops for my students. With that disclaimer out of the way, let me tell you about the book and the awkward joy of reading a memoir of someone you know. Really, the book is the story of Saeed's relationship with his mother as he deals with racism and homophobia while living in Texas as a teenager in the 90s. It then follows his college career as he grows up. The awkward part about reading a memoir about someone you know is in your mind you come up with what you think the book's going to be about and you imagine what you know about the person and project that into the narrative. Thus, I expected a lot of the book to be about speech and debate because I know what a big part of Saeed's life that that was. But he focused his narrative very well as an author on the relationship with his mother and racism and homophobia. And thus, I realized, having read the book, that it would have taken away from that narrative to give detailed chapters about the competitive experience of someone going out to prove himself in the world, winning those trophies, and gaining that reputation as a part of the speech and debate community. This book is extremely relevant. I hope that you will consider checking the book out even if you don't feel such a great personal connection to Louisville or growing up at that time period. I always recommend memoirs to people because reading a book about someone's life gives you a great insight which allows you to have more empathy and understanding of human nature in general. If you are not aware of all, even the little things that can happen with a person. For example, I remember a long time ago when we were part of a caravan heading for speech and debate workshops. I was the lead car in the caravan and Saeed was in a car following me. When we got there, he commented to me that when I'm driving down the highway, I turn my blinker on at the last minute to change lanes, which is something that I do in Texas because there are a lot of drivers who are jerks. And if you turn your blinker on too early, a lot of people will just speed up and block you and not let you get over and switch lanes. But what I didn't realize at the time and what really opened my eyes to privilege was Saeed pointing out to me that if he was in a car and they turned on the blinker at the last moment, that just gave the cops another excuse to pull them over, harass them, or bother them. And so that really stood out as a moment to me of, oh wow, you have a different experience in life just driving down the road and using your blinker than what I have. You know, sometimes it's those little insights that you can have. But I will also say this book speaks great truth. This is a book that is shockingly raw. I had no idea that this book was going to be such an intense emotional experience. I do highly recommend the book. I hope that you enjoyed this book talk. Join me next time as we continue Nonfiction November. Thank you.